Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Eiches, certified allergist at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. And I'm here today to discuss with you how to prevent mold allergies. Well, first of all, let's talk about the outdoors. And you can think, well, what can I do with the outdoors? How can I change the outdoors to make me less mold reactive or have less mold exposure? And the thing about that that you have to think about is your home environment and what outdoors is close to your home. For example, make sure there's not a lot of leaves or debris that's, very, that's touching the house or very close to the house. Keep those surfaces clean. Also look to make sure that you're not overwatering the grass or that there's not pooling of water, especially say in areas that have a lot of shade. That could be causing more moisture and more mold to seep into your home. So let's move to the indoors. First thing is repair any leaks in the roof. Repair leaks in any plumbing. If you have a roof leak and water gets into the roof, gets through the roof and into the crawl space, that's an issue. Mold likes to live and once it's there, it's very hard to get rid of. Then let's think about some of your inside surfaces that you deal with, like your bathroom surfaces or your laundry room or your kitchen. Try to vent those areas. Let air come in, let sunlight come in so that they don't stay dark and dank. Dark and dank means moldy. Also, closets can get moldy, and a good idea is to have a little night light in the closet so that you decrease some of the mold growth. If you have old pillows or old, an old sofa, sometimes that gets really moldy, and the best thing to do with that is to just replace it. Sunlight also is good to kill mold, and especially, say, on a, on a warm, dry, sunny day, open up the windows, let the sun shine in, and have the mold leave. I'm Dr. Robert Eiches. I'm a board-certified allergist at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, and I talk to you today on how to prevent mold allergies. Thank you.